And good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Fairhaven Union High School. And uh, today we have JV Boys basketball action coming up for you as the Fairhaven Slaters who are, will be taking on the Hartford Hurricanes. And this is uh, the JV contest of this uh, match coming up as the Hartford Hurricanes take to the court uh, first. Hartford uh, will be on the floor starting off here in uh, just a moment, jumping it up at center circle for the Hartford Hurricanes. Is uh, the number 14, that is uh, Tyler Pepper. And there is uh, the guy that's gonna jump it up here at uh, center circle. And jumping it up at uh, center circle for the Fairhaven Slaters will be Cody Adams. And off the opening tip, it is gonna go right quickly, very quickly out of bounds here. And uh, we'll have it inbounded here once again in just a moment, this time by Hartford uh, on the possession. Just underway from Fairhaven High School. Good job underneath the Fairhaven basket. First basket is Porter Silva. That hits that bucket for Fairhaven. One also from Hartford. So we have a score of 2-2 two, two, uh, two, two tie here. Just underway. First quarter action. Fairhaven JV boys basketball action. Loose ball on the floor picked up there. Otis Davis is the guy that cleans up uh, after that. Uh, missed shot. Ball in for the two. Makes it 4-0. Four or 4-2 four I should say. Hartford. Up on top in the lead, just underway. Slaters, nice job working the ball inside underneath. And that goes to, to Santiago Benitez that uh, hit that bucket for the two to ties it for a piece. Cody Adams with the rebound coming down there for Fairhaven. Long three-point try from Porter Silva. That comes off the rim. That one rebounded by the Hurricanes. Hartford setting up their offense with it at their end of the floor. Ball goes back top of the circle. Get a three-point try put up and missed. And a rebound coming down to the Slaters. Clearing the boards, Adam Harper for Fairhaven. Nice play inside and a good look at it. We'll have a foul on the play, but a good uh, open shot there, Cody Adams. That one was set up on the play by Adam Harper, making a nice assist in there. Adams had two attempts, misses the first, gets the second one. He is fouled, and he will go to the line. He'll be shooting two shots, and we are tied at four apiece. And a chance to break this tie here with Cody Adams on the free throw line. Cody's a sophomore, listed at six foot one on the roster. And there, as you can see, makes his uh, first uh, free throw. He'll get one more. Fairhaven, the host team here this afternoon, up on top, now leading by a score of six to four with those buckets. Both coming from the free throw line. Deep right corner shot, Hartford end of the floor. That was Graham Thompson that put that one up, misses off the rim. Fairhaven Slater rebound. There's a drive to the Slater basket. Nice job getting it inside underneath. A lot of traffic in there. Santiago Benitez going up strong underneath under a lot of pressure. Gets the two, he is fouled on the play. And a chance to make this a three point play from the free throw line. Fairhaven up on top leading by a score of eight to four. And Benitez will be on the line for one free throw, all met on that one. Nice shooting for him. Left-handed shot, as you see, in for the two, or for the one, for a three-point play. And we have nine to four. Advantage Fairhaven at Fairhaven High School. JV Vars J Junior Varsity basketball action.
Nice attempt there. Good look at it. Top of the Fairhaven circle. John Roberts putting up that shot missing. In and out, but took a real good shot there. Rebounded by the Hurricanes. First quarter action. Otis Davis, the big guy, number 44 inside. Putting up that shot, and the big guy for Fairhaven getting the rebound. That's Porter Silva, long pass down the floor. Hartford back very quickly on defense, setting up. Fairhaven, good ball movement. Goes to Silva, top of the circle. He's going to let that one fly. Three-point try. That one is not going to go. Graham Thompson there with the rebound. Good job defense for Fairhaven getting quickly back down the floor. And a loose ball in the paint. Bounce loose is uh, John Roberts picking that one up. Fairhaven again, good transition down the floor. Adam Harper putting up a shot, which he misses. You got 3.30 left to go here, first quarter action. Thomas Thorburn took that shot, misses off the rim. That one going out of bounds. Substitutions coming in here for both teams. Thorburn is a sophomore listed as a guard on the roster. That last out of bounds off Fairhaven. It'll be inbounded by the Hurricanes. There's a nice attempt. A little short, though. That's Rex Banning that uh, took that three-point shot right on line. He had a perfect line on it. Just not enough juice on that one. That one is missing out of bounds. And it will go back to Fairhaven. Your officials, one of them just uh, right there, that was Eric May in the camera. He's referring the game uh, tonight. And the other official is Ray Dean. Fairhaven, a couple of attempts. They get the ball inside. Good opportunity there. Inside for John Roberts. Knocked loose. And that one goes out of bounds off Fairhaven. Back to Hartford. We're under three minutes left to go. First quarter action. Fairhaven nine, Hartford four. Otis Davis shot from the free throw line. No good. Rebounded by the Slaters. Quick transition down. Davis blocking that shot. As I said, quick transition down the floor by Fairhaven, but the defense back there quickly too. Cody Adams took the shot. He got fouled. So we have three team fouls now. That was the third one right there on Hartford. That coming with 2.34 left to go in the first quarter. Hartford foul is going to be on Otis Davis, and we'll have a shooter on the line here for Fairhaven. And the first one up. Nice shot there. Cody Adams, another one of the sophomores here, as we said. Six foot one listed on the roster. Puts uh, Fairhaven up on top 10 to four now. Second free throw is no good. Rebound taken by Graham Thompson for Hartford. All kinds of activity at the other end of the floor. There was a shot in there. And the ball knocked for free. Loose out of bounds at the baseline. Ball will stay with Hartford. They'll inbound it here at their own baseline. Inbound pass comes top of the circle. Graham Thompson now it's knocked loose. Some good hustle over there on the sideline. As you see, we get a jump ball signal, but... Time out here on the floor. Good hustle on uh, part of Santiago Benitez for Fairhaven. Tying that one up for a jump ball. Then we have a timeout, so we'll have a look here at the Fairhaven JV boys right here at their respective sideline. Fairhaven JV head coach is uh, Mr. Ken Webb. Slater guys are Rowan Lincoln, also Asher Oberkirk, Logan Nipes, Derek Webb, John Roberts, Adam Harper, Braden Heyer. Max Carabino, Luca Carabino, Cody Adams, Santiago Benitez, Aiden Jackson, Porter Silva, and again the head coach, Mr. Ken Webb. So there you go. There's the entire roster for the Fairhaven Slaters. We'll run down the opponents here when we get an opportunity, but it'll be possession Fairhaven. So they will be inbounding after their timeout here. And it looks like uh, Asher Oberkirk into the ball game now will be the inbounder. Gets the ball in play. That's Benitez, top of the circle here. Between circles for Fairhaven, setting up the offense. Good. 
Oh, nice job. Good, good ball movement right there. Max Carabino got the assist, or got the pass inside and uh, off the glass for the two. Nice bucket for Fairhaven, this trip down the floor. Back to Hartford right now. Ball gets knocked out of bounds with about 120 left to go here. First quarter action on the clock. Get a bunch of subs lining up there at the uh, Hartford bench getting ready to go into the ball game. And it will be Hartford uh, on the inbound here, their own baseline. Ball knocked loose, Fairhaven gonna come up with it. Good hands there by Benitez for Fairhaven. Nice fast break put together down the floor. Thomas Thorburn for Hartford. Long down the court pass to him. Gets ahead of the defense for Fairhaven and finishes that one off with a layup. There's a Fairhaven travel, and that comes with three seconds left to go here in the first quarter. They lead Fairhaven, JV's 12, Hartford 6. That'll be a turnover by Hartford. They are caught for carrying the basketball. That coming with one second, point one second left to go here in the first quarter. And that is the end of one quarter of basketball, and we have Fairhaven, JV's home team up on top, leading by a score of 12 to 5, as you can see there on the score clock. Crowd starting to fill in here tonight for the varsity portion of this uh, matchup, the uh, Fairhaven-Hartford varsity, one of the top games of the year in the regular season. You see some games that uh, really grab your attention. The current number one team, in Division II boys basketball, the Hartford Hurricanes. And they will be on the floor here tonight to take on the Fairhaven Slaters who have really uh, put on a, a great uh, mid and late season uh, run here and have a number of wins against some high powered teams. Uh, played very closely to Rutland High School, which is one of the top teams in Division I. Lost that one just by a few points. So they've really uh, started to gel here in their last few games. So this will be a very, very good contest tonight on the varsity level. And we're seeing the Fairhaven JVs do an excellent job here so far in the first quarter, leading 12-6. And as you see, both teams out on the floor here. First quarter action over with, second quarter ready to go. And a ball will be inbounded by the Slaters. Good job getting it inside. Got loose there for just a moment, but good hands there. But Benitez picked it up underneath. Kept calm and uh, right off the glass for the two. Now another turnover at the Hartford end of the floor. Slater's coming up with it again. They get it right back to uh, Benitez. Benitez setting up the offense. You see right there between circles. 14 to six is our score. Fairhaven JV's leading Hartford. Now. 
And that's a loose ball picked up. Good job, good transition. Joey Gardner at the other end of the floor. Joey's a freshman for Hartford. Picks up that loose ball, takes it right to the basket for a Hartford bucket, makes it 14 to eight now. Fairhaven leading. Slater's with the basketball. JV boys basketball right here at Fairhaven High School. Well, that's uh, Aiden Jackson that got stripped of the ball for Fairhaven at the other end of the floor, then chased it down, showed some good hustle, tied it up at the other end, the Hartford end of the floor. Will be Hartford possession. Aiden new into the uh, ball game here in this uh, second quarter. Aiden's a sophomore, one of the big guys out there at six foot four, listed on our roster as. So the Hurricanes inbound the ball once again. We have a collision over there on the far side of the floor. Two players running into each other. That's Rowan Lincoln on the floor. Ran into one of the Hartford players. That would be uh, Tyler Piper. So a bunch of new uh, players into the ball game. No, uh, no foul on the play. So that will be, uh, I guess it went out of bounds over there on the sideline. So it's going to be inbounded here in just a moment. Rex Banning will be the inbounder. Rex is a freshman. Gets the ball in play. That's Tyler Piper. Top of the circle. Setting up with it here for Hartford. Benitez putting up that three-point try for the Slaters. Missing off the rim. And the other end of the floor. Ball thrown away. Coming up with it. Max Carabino on the floor. Carabino doing a good job on defense. Intercepting that pass. Slaters get another opportunity. Benitez, top of the Fairhaven circle. Between circles. Waiting for a little help. Rowan Lincoln there out on top. Rowan will set up now with it. Shot from the corner that is going to miss. Fairhaven a rebound. Coming up with the rebound. Derek Webb on the uh, floor. Got the rebound. Rowan Lincoln took that shot. Now they work it back in underneath. And as you can see right there, Santiago Benitez taking a strong right to the basket. Hits another bucket for Fairhaven. So a little bit of tough time getting some offense going here on the Hartford side of things. We'll look at the Hartford guys uh, right here. It's their timeout with uh, 442 left to go here in the first half. Another shot at the score clock there on the wall just above Fairhaven Union High School. And there you go. We have a 16 to, whoop, 16 to 9, or actually 16 to 8 is our score. A lot of basketball tradition here. And I say basketball, and uh, we have state championship banners hanging on the wall over there. Let me see if I can show you some of these. All right, there's the boys' basketball state champions, as you see. 1957, 1971, 1991, 1997, 2002, 2018, 2020. So a whole bunch of banners uh, up there uh, for basketball. Got quite a golf team over here too. I see a whole bunch of golf banners up there, but that'll be for another day. JV Boys Basketball, Fairhaven High School. There are the Hartford Hurricanes out of Hartford, Vermont. Hartford boys play Division II basketball. They have a very good football program there. You always, always hear about uh, Hartford in the football season, which I believe, at least in most recent years, have been a Division I team.
Thomas Thorburn put that shot up for Hartford underneath. Battle for the rebound and a foul committed. That's Tyler Piper going to pick up the uh, personal foul. There's a steal by Hartford. Nice pick off, and that's going to be right to the basket for Thomas Thorburn. Good read on that defensively, and nobody catching him as he took off down the floor. Hits the two. 16 to 10 is our score. Fairhaven lead. Porter Silva gets the ball underneath, got stripped of the basketball. Hurricanes coming up with it. So, a good little bit of a run here by Hartford. There's a drive to the basket. Easy layup try. Graham Thompson. Not able to drop that in there. We get a Fairhaven rebound on the play. Pass thrown away. Fairhaven under the floor. Hartford coming up with it. A great drive to the basket. Rex Banning, a freshman, going in there, hitting that one for the two. Now Coach Ken Webb wanting a timeout here. As he's seen a little bit of a run coming up here. And uh, the Hartford Hurricanes closing the gap here in the last couple of minutes. We have 16-12 advantage, Fairhaven by four. Fairhaven Slaters have led for the entire first uh, half of this uh, basketball game, but this is as close as Hartford's been in a little while. The Hartford High School boys uh, basketball team, we gave you the entire roster for Fairhaven. Let's have a look at uh, the uh, Hartford guys here on the floor, and uh, as we have a timeout, we'll mention their names. Thomas Thorburn, Tyler Piper, Morgan Jensen, Graham Thompson, Owen McMahon, Joey Gardner, Caden Marcotte, Rex Banning, Jackson Hessler, Nate Lambert, Maxwell Smarts, and Otis Davis, head coach is Andy Thorburn in his second year, assistant coach Danny Bushway. And there you go, the entire roster and the coaching staff for the visiting Hartford JV boys basketball team. Ball will be inbounded here after the Fairhaven timeout by the Slaters. No full court pressure here. So Fairhaven will easily bring the ball down over the half-court line with about uh, 2.50 left to go here in the first half. Fairhaven, four-point advantage, 16 to 12. Slater set up their offense, top of the circle. That's John Roberts for Fairhaven, number 13. Waits for a little help. Rowan Lincoln will get it back out top of the circle. Hartford shot put up and missed. And John Roberts with the rebound. Here's Slater's down the floor. Roberts over the half court line with it. I believe that basket is going to be good. We'll see Porter Silva hit the bucket. He and Porter Silva will be on the line. So he'll get two and maybe one to go with it here. Porter Silva is a name we can uh, remember from the uh, football season over the course of the fall. Excellent football player here at Fairhaven. Had an outstanding year. The Slaters did. The silver, silver shot is missed. Rebound back up. Got another opportunity right there. Cody Adams on the putback attempt. Misses that. And Hartford with the rebound. 140 left to go here in the first half. Joey Gardner took that shot for Hartford, misses it. Benitez with the ball down the floor, will set up with it for Fairhaven. No give and go, right back to Benitez down there on the baseline. Got cut off, tried to get back outside with it. Apparently he stepped on that baseline. So Hartford is gonna inbound it with 114 left to go here in the first half. 18 to 12 if you're just joining us. Fairhaven JV's leading Hartford out of Hartford, Vermont. Let's 
steal by the Slaters. Nice play and a good run to the basket by Tyler Piper. And now we have uh, Hartford wanting a timeout. Head coach Andy Thorburn decides to take a little break here, regroup a little bit after we get a little bit of a run here for Fairhaven. They lead it by a score of 20 to 12, under one minute left to go here in the half. You talk about a lot of uh, high school tradition here. I mentioned uh, the golf team here. As long as we're here at the, I can show you this. There's some of the uh, golf state titles. I won't mention them all, but those are all banners for the golf uh, program. And right up here, just uh, above the uh, entryway to the gymnasium, you see a whole bunch more banners. And uh, that represents a lot of uh, sports uh, history here in all sports. Girls uh, track, very good uh, track and field program here at uh, Fairhaven and that's a lot of the track uh, titles you see there indoor outdoor track excellent program very uh, very good uh, athletic programs here at Fairhaven High School for sure here are the visiting uh, Hartford Hurricanes All right, time out on the floor just about over with, and as we can see right here, it will be Hartford inbounding after their timeout. Fairhaven defense back waiting. Benitez got a rebound. Shot taken from three-point range and missed. Thomas Thorburn took that shot. Can't get it to go. Slater's try to get the ball in the middle. That's a loose ball. Picked up there by Rex Banning. All right, the official right there getting a tie-up, as you see, so that'll be a jump ball signal, and it will be back to Fairhaven to bring it down the floor with about 10 seconds remaining left to go here in... Oh, I was going to say in the first half, but they throw it away just as I say that. That was a long down-the-court pass intended for Morgan Jensen. A little bit too high or too hot to handle there. Goes out of bounds, and now seven seconds on the clock, and Hartford will come over the half-court line with it. And that is what uh, will be our final shot, Rex Banning. For Hartford, took that last shot off the rim. No time to do anything else with it, get it down the floor. So we have a halftime score of Fairhaven 20. And Hartford 12. JV boys basketball action at Fairhaven Union High School in Fairhaven, Vermont. A production on Peg TV. All right, halftime just about over with here at Fairhaven High School. JV boys basketball action, and we are ready to go with the start of the second half. Good first half for the Fairhaven Slaters. They lead it by a score of 20 to 12, and we are just about ready to get underway with our second half of action. As you see right here to our left, we have the Hartford Hurricanes out of uh, Hartford, Vermont. And again, the uh, host team at Fairhaven High School, the Slater boys, and we are working our way through the month of uh, February. Today, February 6th, and actually just a few games left in the regular season for each of these teams. As at the end of February, uh, last few weeks of February is basically uh, the last of the uh, regular season. You get the postseason uh, schedules will be uh, coming out, and everybody's goal to get to the Barry Auditorium. And uh, at least on the varsity level, this is JV Boys Basketball right here. And the Hartford uh, team, Hartford Hurricanes inbound to start our second half. Left corner shot put up, and this one is not going to drop in there. Good job on the rebound. That's Cody Adams yanking that one down, getting some good position here for Fairhaven. Looks like pretty much the original starting five in there. See Porter Silva in there. Adam Harper also in there. Now getting the uh, basketball is John Roberts. Oh, tried to get it inside. That one is going to be turned over. 
Hartford coming up with that loose ball. Saved in play, but into Fairhaven hands. Adam Harper getting in the right spot to get that uh, rebound, or the uh, save on the inbounds. Thrown right back to him. These are the Slaters at their end of the floor. Nice job driving into the Fairhaven uh, paint right in the middle. John Roberts didn't get challenged too much there and decided to pop that little jump shot in. Makes it 22-12 now. Fairhaven double-digit lead for the first time in this ballgame. We are in the third quarter. Looks like the ball's going to get knocked out of bounds right over there on the uh, sideline, as you see. And that'll be out off Hartford. Nice try on a reverse layup for Fairhaven. That's Benitez that got that good look at it, good opportunity, not able to get it to go, slapped away, good defensive play at the Fairhaven end of the floor. It's Adam Harper setting that one up. Slater's working their offense at the other end of the floor, John Roberts controlling it. Now to Porter Silver right there in front of our camera. Graham Thompson for Hartford picks up a foul. Fairhaven inbounds. And right there to Porter Silva. Big Porter Silva going right straight to the basket. Nice little soft touch off the glass for the two. 24-12. Fairhaven lead by 12 now. Biggest lead of the ball game. Tyler Piper, three-point attempt. No good off the rim. Benitez for the Slaters. And that will be a travel. Benitez getting, uh, actually it was uh, Piper getting that, uh, no, it was Silva, Porter Silva getting that rebound for Fairhaven. Good job, driving to the basket is uh, Rex Banning. Hit that beautiful shot there for Hartford. Been a while since we've had a Hartford basket. 24-14 with that Hartford bucket. 4.22 left to go third quarter. John Roberts took it strong to the basket. Fairhaven end of the floor. Got knocked to the floor actually after missing that shot. No whistle, no foul. And it's going to be out of bounds. Turnover back to Hartford, and they bring it down the floor. With approaching four minutes left to go in the half. There's a long shot, top of the circle, put up by Tyler Piper, looking for three. Then we get a tie up underneath. Adam Harper in it, Rex Banning for Hartford, tying that one up. Jump ball gives possession to Fairhaven. Now we see full court pressure here, coming from uh, Hartford. Fairhaven doing a nice job dealing with that full court pressure. They find Max Carabino open the other end of the floor. Carabino going up for the shot underneath for the two. Thomas Thorburn put up a shot for Hartford. Misses off the rim. Got a rebound there. Rex Banning. Hartford resetting the offense. Over that right corner, they want to try a three ball there. Graham Thompson missing that one. Rebound Slaters. Yeah. 
Santiago Benitez right to the basket for Fairhaven. So we've had a little bit of offense coming out of uh, Hartford, but uh, Fairhaven matching that and actually up in that lead here in the third quarter and uh, time for Hartford to uh, take another time out. Head coach Andy Thornton, assistant coach Danny Bushway try to talk things over here, come up with another strategy as we have 3.08 left to go here in the third quarter. Fairhaven's lead now is 14, 28 to 14. Crowd filling in here very nicely for our next game, the varsity. Fairhaven started off like they were going to use a full court press, decided to back off on that. So as you see, Hartford will inbound it. They'll bring it down the board, or bring it down the floor here. No pressure coming from the Slaters. All right, a couple of Hartford shots. That one was Graham Thompson that hit that. The initial shot there was... Owen McMahon missing that. Good heads up by the Hurricanes there as they get the rebound, reset the offense, and come away with a two-point bucket. John Roberts getting it inside for a shot. Fairhaven end of the floor missing that one. Hartford with the rebound. A little floater put up there. Graham Thompson going to miss that one. And Roberts got the rebound. Roberts right there with double team on him. Goes right around both of them. Feeds it underneath the basket. We have a whistle shot, maybe a foul. Let's see. That's Max Carabino hit the bucket. There is a foul. Carabino's going to shoot two. Max Carabino, wearing number 20, a freshman at six foot. Then uh, Luca Carabino, number 21, a freshman at six foot. Also, Luca not in the ball game at the moment, but Max is. Max on the free throw line to shoot another free throw. That is good, 29-16 with that basket. 2.05 left to go, third quarter. Good job right there. Max Carabino hitting that bucket. 31-16 with that basket. Patience, uh, anyway, by Hartford. Tyler Piper putting up a shot. And uh, missing that one. And also getting a shot was Joey Gardner. Neither one going to go, but they took their time waiting for the right opportunity there. Just not able to get the ball to go through that basket. Fairhaven with the rebound, and we have 33 seconds left to go here in the third quarter.
All right, that's an out of bounds. Off Hartford, Fairhaven will inbound. Well, some opportunity there for sure. Right in the thick of all that play was number 22, Cody Adams. Fort Fairhaven got a couple of shots off and right there for a rebound attempt. There's a buzzer shot the other end of the floor and that is gonna miss. Joey Gardner took that shot and we have ended three quarters of JV boys basketball at Fairhaven. It's Fairhaven up on top, 31 to 16 leading this contest. There is the crowd across the way filling in the uh, bleachers at Fairhaven Union High School for our next game. That's uh, the boys varsity. You'll be able to watch that as a presentation on PEG TV as well. There are your two officials here once again. Eric May, that's Eric on the right, and Ray Dean on the left. Two of our fine basketball officials here in the state of Vermont doing an excellent job here tonight. There is the Fairhaven cheering section across the way. As you see a lot of the fans decked out in pink, which usually, usually is a breast cancer awareness symbol. All right, and we're ready to go. Fourth quarter, the Fairhaven Five on the floor right now. Coming out there for Fairhaven, we see Max Carabino, who's one of the starters here of the fourth quarter. Derek Webb out there. Also on the floor, Cody Adams will be out there while we're underway. Santiago Benitez also out there. Shot comes top of the Hartford Circle misses. Rowan Lincoln just got the rebound. He's another one of the Fairhaven Five starting this fourth quarter. I think I got everybody. Lincoln's going to set up the offense top of the Fairhaven Circle. All right, there will be a foul underneath. Good job, Fairhaven offense trying to work it inside, looking for that inside game underneath the Cody Adams. Cody got fouled. That should be coming up on the board. Cody will be, should be on the line to shoot two, and that foul is going to be against Rex Banning, his first personal. All right, free throw is good, 32-16. Our score with that basket. Owen McMahon took that three-point attempt, rebound. Goes back out top of the circle. Another shot attempt coming from the top by Rex Banning, misses that one. Now Fairhaven with a rebound. Hurricanes getting back on defense. Benitez will bring the ball over the half-court line for Fairhaven. That's an out of bounds. Gives it right back to Hartford. There is, I believe, a three. Didn't see the signal on three, but a beautiful shot anyway. Graham Thompson hit that one. 32-19 with that basket. Fairhaven JV's leading. Nice draw by Benitez, drive into the basket, comes in for the left-handed layup, heavy traffic in there, soft seam, got to it. And at the other end of the floor, there's the Hartford answer, they're warming up, outside shot there by Graham Thompson. 34-22 now with that basket. Get that three-point shot, if you can hit it, you can get right back into any game. There goes underneath, inside to Porter Silva. Fairhaven guys like that, you can see their bench standing up cheering for Silva as he hit the basket, got fouled. So possibility at a three-point play. Graham Thompson gonna pick up the uh, personal foul. I believe that's the signal I saw, number 21. Foul. 
All right, they put 21 up on the board for the foul. That's his third personal foul. So Silva will be on the line with a chance to shoot uh, or make a three-point play. The basket was good. Wow, another three-pointer. Owen McMahon hitting that basket, 36-25. All of a sudden, we have under a double-digit lead. Nine-point advantage. That'll be an out-of-bounds. We had a Fairhaven shot top of the circle. Three-point range by Rowan Lincoln. Rowan's shot bounced high off the rim, goes off the top of the backboard. That's an uh, out-of-bounds. Goes back now to Hartford, 537 left to go here in the ball game. I can imagine we're gonna see them try to keep taking that three because they're pretty, pretty hot with a three point shot here at this point. Rex Banning three point try at the Hartford end from the right corner, misses. We got a tie up and it looks like there'll be a jump ball. Or actually a timeout here, I guess is what we're looking at. All right, so let's show you the score clock again here at Fairhaven High School. There we are. There we sit. 5-19 left to go here in this basketball game. This is the fourth quarter in the Fairhaven uh, JVs. Home team here leading. Slater's on the board right there, as you see on the left. 36. Guest is Hartford. Hartford High School. Hartford, Vermont, 25. But Hartford's had a pretty good for a fourth quarter for uh, three minutes here. They hit a bunch of threes really what they needed to do. They were down by, I believe, as much as 14 points at one point. They've kind of quietly snuck back in here and got that under, under 10 to a nine point advantage. And they are gonna keep the pressure on as we see they take the time out. We have a full court press on. All right, that's the third team foul. It's on uh, Hartford. That'll be uh, Owen McMahon that picks up the foul. It'll be inbounded at the sideline. They go right back to Porter Silva. Porter working his way inside. I'll tell you what, he's a big guy, but he's got a nice soft touch with that shot. Works his way in with a spinning shot. Hits the bucket, 38-25. And that is a three-point basket, I believe, right there by Rex Banning. Just hit that three, 38-27. Back to nine-point advantage for Fairhaven. Hartford not going away. Full-court pressure coming on the ball. Slater's Benitez over the half-court line. Benitez might get a traveling violation. I was going to say he drove right down the middle with it. He got somebody in his face there defensively. Decided to kick that pass over to the left sideline, but apparently he took a step. So it is going to go back to Hartford. 4.22 left to go in the basketball game. There's a shot. Might have been a foul. I think they got away with one on that. I think the shooter there, which was uh, Rex Banning, number 31 right there, might have had his hand hit there a little bit. Misses the shot out of bounds. I think they were challenging the call here. Somebody was. A nice inbound all the way down the floor. Right there, somebody forgot all about for John Roberts hanging back there. They got a nice pass down the floor to him. Goes in for the easy two. Thomas Thorburn taking a three-point attempt. Comes off the rim, rebound Hartford. They get back over on that right sideline. There's a three-point attempt. McMahon, Owen McMahon missing that one. And now the ball gets knocked out of bounds with under four minutes left to go in the basketball game. Good job, Benitez, driving right to the basket. The defense opened up a little bit, gave him a room, gave him enough room, and he took that lane right in for the two. On a layup, left-handed shot. Three-point attempt by Joey Gardner, missing that one off the rim. 
Rebound coming down, Fairhaven's Adam Harper got that one. Now loose at the half court. Hartford, nice job right inside to Rex Banning, and Rex made a beautiful shot right there. A lot of defensive pressure on him. There's a collision right there. That'll be a foul against Hartford. But that was a nice shot by Rex Banning as he was hit while going up for that shot. All right, we're going to have it inbounded here at the sideline. 3.15 left to go in the basketball game. Here even JV's been handling this pressure pretty well there. So we get a shot attempt. John Roberts missing. Thomas Thorburn in and out on a shot attempt for three points. Now a foul on the floor. That's the fifth team foul on Hartford. So any foul from this point forward, this one, fifth one included, will be a two point double, double bonus uh, situation. This is our new rule this year, no more one and one. Basically you get five fouls per quarter. After that, the fifth foul is two shots every time. Then it resets per quarter. On the line shooting for Fairhaven, Cody Adams. Cody's a sophomore here at Fairhaven High School. Listed as six foot one on the roster, good sized guy. The, on the line to shoot two. All right, with that basket right there, looks like we have 43-29, Fairhaven. Joey Gardner, three-point attempt, Fairhaven rebound. Let's see, fast break going down the floor. and Nice lead pass down there to Cody Adams. He'll finish it off with that layup. 45-29, Slaters. JV boys basketball at Fairhaven High School. All right, that was a foul on Porter Silva, picking up his first foul. He comes out for a breather here, maybe for the rest of the game. We'll see, he had an excellent game, though. Graham Thompson with a shot. Rex Banning got that second shot in, misses that. Another Hartford rebound, they'll get another chance. Rex Banning, top of the circle. Back over to Thompson in the middle. They'll kick it over left corner. Let's see what happens. Thomas Thorburn putting up that three-point attempt and a whistle underneath and a foul. Fairhaven's Cody Adams gets the foul. Under two minutes left to go in the basketball game. The Hartford foul is going to give it back to Fairhaven. John Roberts will be on the line shooting two for Fairhaven. Good job from the free throw line for Roberts. 148 left to go in the basketball game. 47-29, Fairhaven JV's leading. All right, Coach Webb getting all kinds of substitutions in there, so get some new players on the floor here in the last minute and a half of this basketball game. Rex Banning took that three-point shot. There's Banning getting the rebound. They go back inside, now back outside. Good ball movement by Hartford. 
All right, that's going to be three-point bucket right there. Thomas Thorburn hitting that basket. Good ball movement, uh, find the open man, and that'd be John Roberts right there. Takes it in for the right-handed layup. That one way out there, just over the half-court line. Shot taken and missed. Max Carabino got the rebound. We have it go out of bounds. It's going to be Fairhaven with the possession. That is an end-to-end -end drive. And a beautiful job, Santiago Benitez finishing that one off with the uh, layup underneath. 51-32, Fairhaven. All right, foul on Hartford. We'll put Fairhaven back at the free throw line and uh, Logan Knipes on the line to shoot. Logan, a freshman, five foot seven freshman. There you see a bunch of new substitutions coming in here. Last few seconds of this basketball game, 20 seconds left to go. Knipes will get another shot here. Fairhaven with it, five seconds left on the clock, and I think he's just gonna let the clock run out and take away a nice little win here. And they do, and there you go. Our final score, 51-32. Fairhaven JV's defeating Hartford at Fairhaven Union High School. Both teams meeting for a final handshake, and that'll be the end of this one, but a nice win here for Fairhaven uh, here tonight on their home floor, defeating uh, rival Hartford. Once again, 51-32 our final score. All right, we have some final scoring stats uh, here for you. How about we check down, uh, we'll do Hartford uh, here first. And uh, Thomas uh, Thorburn with a total of, uh, let's see, seven points. Hit three field goals, including one three-pointer. So finishes up with a total of seven. Graham Thompson with a total of uh, uh, eight points. He hit two three-pointers, both of those in the fourth quarter. Pretty good fourth quarter for shooting threes anyway for uh, Hartford. Owen McMahon with a total of three points on one three-pointer. Uh, Joey Gardner with a total of uh, two points. Rex Banning hit uh, two, four, six, eight. Four field goals for a total of uh, eight points. Otis Davis with a total of uh, four points. And there you go. Best quarter was uh, the fourth quarter for Hartford with 16 points. All right, for Fairhaven, uh, Roman Lincoln. Uh, let me uh, move that a little further on down. John Roberts with a total of two, four, six, eight points. Adam Harper with a total of uh, two points. Max Carabino with a total of two, four, seven points. Uh, Luca Carabino, I guess not in the scorebook. We have uh, Cody Adams uh, with, uh, let's see, a lot of free throws. He hit one field goal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight free throws. He hit five out of eight from the free throw line. And uh, Santiago Benitez with two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 points in the scorebook. For Benitez, the leading scorer for both teams out here tonight, Porter Silva with a total of two, four, six, uh, eight point, two, four, six, eight, ten points. So there you go. That is the individual scoring statistics here for uh, both of these teams. Congratulations, Fairhaven defeating Hartford by a score of 51 to 32 in JV Boys basketball at Fairhaven High School.